Hey guys, CJ here, and Josh believes he's just cracked the meaning behind of all of Marvel's summer 2015 event releases. Now, if you've been paying attention to Marvel's news, at least comic comic news, in the last couple of weeks, you'll know that they've announced pretty much every event from the past 20 years, more or less, is coming back next summer. And, you know, what does this mean, really? You know, you're trying to figure out, are they going to release all of these? Is it just re-releasing? Are they rebooting? What are they doing? And it sounds like most of the sources are saying they're rebooting. However, how can that be? Are they going to run all these events at the same time? I mean, they're consecutively, it appears they have Secret Wars coming back, Civil War, Planet Hulk, Armor Wars, House of M, and into, like Age of Ultron is also coming back, but in the form of versus Marvel Zombies. Essentially, Josh's theory boils down to this. Every event being teased by Marvel is an alternate universe based on a popular event, like all of those, that will be involved with Secret Wars 2. And let me jump into the explanation here. So ever since Jonathan Hickman, who loves using forgotten events of comic history past, began writing Avengers and New Avengers, he's built up to one thing. And that's the Incursions, which is going on right now. It's a great storyline. I recommend you pick up New Avengers. Really, it's, it's great. Uh, now, the Incursions are the result in an anomaly within the multiverse, causing it to rapidly contract and eventually end. Oddly enough, the Incursions are focused on Earths, not the whole universe themselves, which kind of is a, a big point people have been mentioning, is it seems to be, you know, Earth is the point of uh, conflux, if you will. Earth is the point of collision. And they've noted this in the comics and saying it's weird, but they don't have any answers. Now, normally, a multiversal predicament such as this would be handled by the Living Tribunal. But he, you know, died before the start of the Incursions. The only figure besides, you know, the one above all to be able to challenge the Living Tribunal is the Beyonder, who was going to destroy the multiverse in the original Secret Wars. Now, this should be impossible. Multi uh, Molecule Man killed the Beyonder as Beyonder reincarnated himself as a baby. Uh, but as, as is seen in the new Avengers cover from January 2015, Beyonder is alive. And it's worth noting that Hickman is building towards time running out, which ends in April 2015. That's supposed to be when the multiverse would end. May 2015 is when Secret Wars 2 begins, and it's full of a very diverse cast from the Marvel multiverse. And it was said in New Avengers that the incursions were started by Rabum Alal, which translates in Sumerian to the Great Destroyer. The Beyonder wears all black, or all white, and has black hair. And the cult members that worship this Rabum Alal also wear all white and have black hair. Rabum Alal was also born on another Earth. It's possible that when the Beyonder was as a baby, was he was simply transported to another Earth instead of killed by Molecule Man, or this anomaly was an entire alternate Earth where Molecule Man never killed the baby Beyonder. This would fit as a now adult Beyonder would probably continue his original plan of destroying the multiverse. It would also explain the Living Tribunal's death as Beyonder has come into confrontation with him before, which didn't end on the best of terms. Additionally, the Beyonder is the only antagonist capable of performing such a feat as fighting the Living Tribunal, and he the only one that really, right now, would have any sort of impetus to end the multiverse. Now, Marvel promoting these other events may be showing which alternate universes would be involved, as certain events aren't part of the mainstream 616 universe anymore, like, uh, I believe, House of M, specifically, and the Spider Armor Spidey isn't technically part of the you know canon anymore. Uh, but comment below with your thoughts. And in his words, he says, Thank you, CJ, for sharing my explanation slash theory slash possible bullshit. You are very welcome, Josh. I hope you guys appreciate it as well. Just comment below with your thoughts, really. Uh, do you think this is what they're doing? It sounds like a solid theory to me. It makes a lot of sense. I don't see how they would release all these uh, events if they were rebooting them. The other, only other explanation is that it's uh, a big re-release of all their events. But I, I think this makes the most sense. I'm sold on it completely. It seems it would explain all of the loose threads that are going around in the Avengers and New Avengers series. So really, I'm, I'm pretty hyped for this. I think it fits. So like you said, comment below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is CJ signing off, and I'll see you next time.